I um, had to cut this whole thing out. Well, I didn't have to. I cut this whole thing out and pasted it back in as a new vehicle because I'm getting these issues that I thought were related to the turret ring clipping on something just because it's like a, a kind of a janky piece. So I've replaced um, the turret ring. First I tried having one turret ring just below that ridge and then another one at the very base to try and stabilize it. It's hard to see sometimes and I don't think it works or I don't think it happens when all the arms are at their default position. When you start lifting the first one up, it's not gonna do it now. It's like it's hitting something though. So I tried cutting out any invisible blocks um, I did all sorts of things, but yeah, I don't know what's causing it though. What I tried to do was just kind of cut the top um, part of the cylinder and then just the top part is mounted to this pivot down here, which is, it's a velocity pivot. Huh, robotic, velocity, robotic, velocity. So yeah, it's a velocity pivot. I'll probably just lift the door up and then hide that below and have like a step up. Uh, or I could maybe put it in the very ceiling, I don't know. So I made it taller though, and then this, the velocity pivot seems to have solved most of the jittering. I got rid of all the walkways and stuff around there because I'm going to try and mount this like right up against the wall. And so this rail will probably have to like poke out or something, there will have to be a way to get around it. And I want to put a hatch up the top so you can just climb up a hatch to get up to here. This is where the wire spool is gonna go. I tried a couple of different things like putting rocket boosters in here, but it kind of doesn't work or it doesn't look very nice. I'll extend this. I did this cheeky little thing. The, the like wires come down and go in and then they're just like, there's a big XML blob there. And so I can go up even higher now. I can go up to 75% rather than 50%. And that was because if the second section is all the way in, it can now lower things pretty close to the base of the crane. Um, I shortened the second section, so now I've got a bit more height because I don't have as much length to fight with. So like the rope coming off that has quite a bit more. Uh, yeah, it's a bit higher and it makes the ropes a bit longer, a bit shorter. I don't know, it gives me more room to get over the sides of the boat. So this is like fully extended. And so you can just, oh yeah, I moved the hinge. I moved the hinge up to the top. So now the top section isn't gonna hit anything. And it means that when you're just walking around on the top, when I get rid of this microcontroller, you'll be able to walk straight across. And then I don't know if I need to put anything or if I want to put anything on the end, but the second segment just folds up and connects directly into it. And then I've got another winch here, a smaller one. So small winch on that piece there and a big winch on this. So if everything was closed up, so if you wanted this height from the crane but you wanted the length as well, you just have an additional winch to use now and I, I was sort of thinking that that might be more helpful for moving stuff around on the ship rather than having like you would have the big winch for picking stuff up off the side and then the small winch for just moving stuff around. It might come in handy. I'm not actually sure that it will, but nice, nice to have. So yeah, I just need to like bulk out the bottom and then chuck it over there on the side. And then I made this little thing. I think there's something weird about like the large winch connecting into another larger winch because it was being a bit screwy. But essentially I would have this like put to the side somewhere and that would be what you connect to to be able to pick up anything like it's got rope anchors and a mag mag all cross on the bottom and if you've got two 150s you have 300 meters of winch and most of the ocean the deepest parts of the ocean are about 300 meters so we should be okay with that yeah i'm going to bulk out the bottom of this and then shift it over to the side
Okay, so I've got this like base widened now. It kind of cuts up real close to where my electrical connectors are for containers. So I think that whole thing, the whole grid will have to shuffle forwards. I can probably just start it there and that would be fine. Just move everything forwards a bunch because it was based off this beginning point. But you can see like some of the middle points don't really match up with anything. So it's fine to just shuffle it. And there wasn't anything on the back, so that doesn't really matter. And so this will be, you go through this door. And then I think I'll put a staircase pretty close to when you come in. And then raise the whole floor up a bit so that um, we can take this pivot, chuck it in the floor. This connects to the stairs, I think. Probably need to go up another one. Yep, and then that hides the pivot. I might have to put a hatch or something in there to be able to repair it, but basically this whole ladder will just continue to float here. Hmm, maybe it needs to actually float. But yeah, that's, that's not bad. It'll come up, you've got a platform, exit into this. And then I think, it's like, where can I put a hatch? Where can I fit a hatch? The cab will probably change a bit because I want to sort these windows out. But yeah, it'd be good if there was a hatch that just popped up through here. Maybe these rails can just go like that. Something like that. And then there'll be a hatch and a ladder. I might have to shuffle it around so there's like a, a bit where you go outside or something. I might actually turn this whole section into a floor. That's a bit safer, eh? You can come up. Could even put another hatch in here, but I don't know. I think this is good. Makes it feel a little bit safer, I guess. You yeah, know, that's, that's where the crane lives now. The crane is permanently, and I still need to come and maybe hide this segment of where the winch is. But otherwise, that is done. Uh, maybe also, <laughs> maybe also not done. I might make this spool thing a bit bigger. It looks a bit small when you zoom out. When you're standing there, it's kind of the right size, but when you're zoomed out, it's a real shorty. This room here was going to be the galley, so I need to put in some seats. Probably not too many seats when you think about it. If this is supposed to be like an offshore rescue vessel, right? So there's kind of the chance that you would be feeding a lot of people. I'm gonna put in a door and then that will help block that off. It gives me some flat walls. I can put like a kitchen or something in one side and then seating probably further up the front. Yeah. And then you go up. I think this is going to be quite an open space anyway and then up to the bridge is going to be quite open as well so i need to build a kitchen and the easiest way to build a kitchen is to steal a kitchen i really like this kind of like table setup i think having the equipment slots and the fire extinguisher all makes sense and i'm thinking i can get away with like lining them up having a bunch of these sort of like this then you can walk past one way how about I start over here and then that gives you access to those equipment slots and then I'll spin it around. Yeah, perfect. Slap a wall in there. Yeah, and then I can just put more equipment in here. You've got a little bit of equipment here. I probably need to get rid of one of those fire extinguishers or just swap this one around. Like put it on the other, going the other way. And this way the fire extinguisher is closer to the door. Or closer to the area you're walking through. And then what do I have for like sinks and stuff? A fridge? The fridge is pretty good. Yep, that will work perfectly. And then we'll have a little bit of a gap here. And then a bench that goes the whole way across. I think the bench was three high. We're gonna have a couple more of these. So these are supposed to be like um, gas burner things or something. 
more bench, more bench. And then I'm going to make the sink quite big. Or, I don't know, quite big, just bigger than it is now. I'm thinking it should be like one of those ones where it's kind of like a buffet style, I guess. How do you make that? So you would have maybe some small equipments or maybe some big ones as well. And this is where all the food goes. You know what I mean? And then you like move down the line, picking out what you want. And we don't want to get too close to the wall. Little window to keep dust and I don't know, flies or whatever off. Bugs, keep bugs off. That's pretty good, eh? So like all the cooking is done over here and then gets put into these little things and the people come along and pick out what food they want. Cause it's got a, this is like for feeding a lot of people, not just a small crew. I mean, it would probably be also for feeding a small crew. I want to kind of make a way to block the kitchen off so you can't just walk down here. Oh yeah, maybe I have another counter here. Like this one doesn't really need to do anything, it just needs to block people from accessing the kitchen. This is the overhead range hood thing. I think I go, go like that. And then I can get some more cupboards. I'll just chop these top ones. That's pretty good, I think. So now I can probably put more of these seats here, or maybe I have like a different kind of seating arrangement. I could probably get one on either side of this central thing though. What is this anyway? I could put a door in here, that'd be cool. If this could like open down and there's a door or a way to exit the shop. Oh, okay, don't get carried away. I think I'm just going to leave the middle part open. I'm just going to like paint some stuff silver or grey, maybe try and show that it's made of like stainless steel or something. I don't know what this kind of stuff would be made of, so I'll come back and paint it later anyway. Okay, let's some spawn this in, see what it feels like. That rail up there is getting jammed again. I think it just unjammed itself. Well, that's not bad, eh? Like, if you're standing here... ...trying to pick your food... ...people could be over here trying to get into their seats, so you don't want to be bumping into people. Maybe some shelves, bookshelves or something, or pot plants, just little decorative things could help sell it. Once I get the floor done as well, it might start to make a bit more sense. Uh, Shorka sent me this picture of like the bridge layout. So, and I think it's pretty similar to what I wanted to do up here anyway. So there's going to be like pilot seats or captain seats or something up here. I need at least three to walk behind here. If I can push it out to five, that'd be really good. I think the idea is that you can still walk around between 
the front section like and still get into this gap and then it goes up and it's probably raised as well that kind of thing uh, the seat would need to go up quite a bit which means less display maybe and then there's like a big screen or something in the middle so if I found out where the middle is that's the middle there put a big screen in there and then I want to have displays that rotate down something like this oh yeah that's pretty good oh that is pretty good I reckon the rotation Man, what's going on I wonder if I can get the rotation to go a little bit more I'm using wedges so if I flip the wedge the other way I probably can push it a bit more Uh, it's clipping the wedge this wedge here hmm. if I can get those two surfaces to meet I think that would be ideal oh look at that so you'll never know we can hide the sides with a 45 or something a 45 degree wedge So I could put a big touchscreen um, waypoint system on this big display and then I need a 2x2 two two for my radar because that's just how I'm coding it. That could maybe go on the side somewhere. Then I can have all this information displayed on there. You get off the seat to the sides and then there'll be one on the other side maybe. Actually, I'm probably don't even need anything over here. This is a pretty good spot, actually. It's quite central. Maybe there's like a standing position or something. I didn't even check what value that was. It could be 5.9 or it could be 6.0. I think 5.9. 0.59, probably. So yeah, I'm thinking like have maybe the same controls over here, but it's just a standing position or just like don't have it at all. But I mean, it would be nice if you could walk up to this screen. Hmm. How would one do this? Yeah, that's good. I want to be able to just walk up and look at everything real quick and like beep, pop, pop, beep, pop, pop, pop and then get back to whatever I was doing you know and then if I'm like driving it and it's on waypoint mode or whatever and you just want to sit here and spin around the ship and then maybe I can hang some displays from the roof or maybe these ones can be like cameras that'd be good if I had side cameras I was going to put that display back here but it fits really well just here I reckon I could put another seat on if you wanted to have like navigator or something you wanted a dedicated navigation seat I think I'll move the bridge forwards is what what is the bridge is this specifically small section the bridge I will move the control area forwards That'll give me four blocks of space in front and floor four blocks behind. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just going to clean up the top of the bow on the inside. Yeah, look at that. Can't really see it, but it's all uh, one by four wedges. So you, I might, I might have to change that. Maybe I have to make it a one by two within a step so that you can jump up onto it. I mean, you can jump up onto it when you're not holding a rope, but if you're holding a rope, you're out of luck. I 
And then if you come up to here, well, that looks heaps nicer. <laughs> it's like one of the smallest changes. Uh, and then, yeah, you can see pretty well. I'm very happy with this. I don't know why I've never done this before. It's such a clean connection and like very kind of realistic feeling that the, the screens are so close and angled pretty well towards where your head position would be. I want to have a look in debug mode as well. Yeah, see, so uh, it cleaned up quite a bit of it actually. There's still some gooby segments. At least they're better than what's down on the bottom, you know. And that'll all get cleaned up as well. Grr. This is really annoying me now. How this doesn't want to work at all. I might have to change the way this rail hinges. Like, instead of a track going down, maybe it hinges from being vertical and then folds down. Because it's where that is touching the helipad. That rail is digging into something and stopping it from moving. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening anyway. If I just take all of it, move it up one, so now it's not going to be touching the helipad at all. And then in here, oh, I deleted the thing. I'm going to take this track and move it up one so that it's got to move an extra one piece of track down. Okay, so I've just lifted that rail segment up one, then moved the tracks up one, so now they shouldn't touch the helipad at all. Once the helipad locks in, then they fall down. That's better. What am I gonna call this ship? If you have a name suggestion, man, I hate, I do not enjoy asking people to leave comments. But if you want to give me any name suggestions, leave a comment. I'm going to probably do some kind of like white triangle thing that matches up with um, some of these wedges. And then chuck a real big name through here somewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know what to do for like imagery or anything on it i've seen a couple of ships that have like big patterns of triangular shapes along the front and it's just like i don't know they're not i don't know why they do it it just looks like a big triangle and also, do I need another color for anti-foul? If I'm going to have like an anti-foul layer along the bottom, do I need another color for that or just leave it all red? If you can think of something that starts with a C or a G, then this can be the first letter of the ship name. What's that dog? Uh, Clifford. <laughs> like red boat. Should I just like, if I, <laughs> if I come down here with this, I oh, don't know, I'm just goofing at this point. Okay, until someone gives me a better name, this is going to be Clifford. 1F, 1F. <laughs> uh, what does that look like on the other side? <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> it's... Uh, get rid of this um, interior now maybe I'll keep the paintings though oh I deleted I never got that one I'll keep the pot plant I'll transfer these over pot plants Doo -doo 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 yeah very nice should I put a couple of these around Maybe if I get rid of these. Oh. 
No, I don't get rid of those. They can cover up the equipment slot. Nothing's really going in there anyway. Just shelves. Some plants. This was a really nice painting though. Put that there so when you're waiting in line to get your food you can look at a nice picture. Uh, I'm going to copy this as well, the exit sign. Technically you could exit through this door but it would m make more sense for you to exit down into the stairs and then out on the deck level. But if you exit through this door, maybe actually, you know, like if I get rid of this, because if you were to exit through here and get stuck in the stairwell, you might not be having such a fun time. Actually, then probably this should say exit. Exit out of the stairwell. Please remove yourself from the stairwell. Exit and then exit. And then you have stairs and you are clear. Oh, also look, it's uh it's not white, it's a slightly off colour. I think what I'm gonna do is just like put different rooms together in bits. Just little bits until it's all filled up. Otherwise I think I'll get bored of just trying to fill up one room and finish one room, because like this doesn't feel finished, even though it's got a lot of stuff in it. The like bridge is probably good enough that I could set it up to make the boat drive. So maybe I should do that. And then I want to put some cardboard boxes, some containers or something in here. How long have I been playing for? An hour. Oh my god. Alright, that's me. That's me. I'm done. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.